Card Kingdom has all your Dominaria United needs, so head on over to their website right now, cardkingdom.com, and place those orders. Yo, what's up? You know, I've been playing a lot of Control, but another Esper deck that was running around last standard was Esper Midrange. Well, let's see if it's still got what it takes, even though it lost out on some tools, like some Vanishing Verse, all that, etc., etc., but... The deck does feel like it pretty much didn't lose too much. It's still got a solid core. You know, we have Kaidos, we have all of that. We don't really need Lily, uh, but we are still playing cards like Tenacious Underdog. Something a little bit newer is like Denic Pious Apprentice. This card is just really here so it can protect our graveyards and, you know, maybe a gr other graveyards in general from things like gr uh, Graveyard Trespasser, uh, maybe some reanimation spells that reanimate a targeted thing from uh, like the graveyard to the battlefield because cards in graveyards can't be the target of spells or abilities. And the fact that it's 2-3 means that it can't get shocked with play of, uh, play with fire. Then we also have Rafine, the, the not Cabaretti, the, uh, the Esper, the Esper people. I don't remember, oh, the Obscura. It's literally on the name of the next card. The Obscura, uh, like, house, like, the they, they're just an awesome guild, so naturally I'm excited to play Rafine. Rafine's still powerful after, like, rotation, and it's only getting better. Uh, it's a 1-4 on top of that. It has that Ward 1, which is very relevant. And the fact that we return it with Obscura Charm is amazing. And then Obscura Interceptor, we've said Obscura so many times in a few sentences, um, is just exactly what we need when it comes down to the tempo play. We have a Flash Life Linker uh, that can bounce any spell, uh, doesn't counter it, just bounces the spell off the stack, and then it connives, which is also powerful. So potentially a 4-2 lifelinker, just powerful, solid mid-range game plan. Let's see how we do on the ladder. I will keep this. Yeah. Risky, but you know what? We've got Malevolent Hermit. That makes us super aggro, right? So the clock is here. Uh, let's go ahead and play Rafine's Tower. So is this a control matchup? It looks like it might be. Oh, it's mid-range. So, pretty much the same matchup. Got it. So, let's see if I can actually get my, uh, keep my, uh, my Malevolent Hermit here. I mean, like, okay, so they have Tenacious Underdog. The Tenacious corn dog is alive and well. What do they follow that up with? A Wedding Announcement? That's a good card. It's a very good card. And then I'll go ahead and just blow it up with Void Rend. That's a huge part of their advantage engine. They're like a lot of the power they have. Obviously, Rafine's another good one, but like I'm hoping I can just uh, keep like, like, I don't know, keep them off their wedding announcement for now. Unless, of course, they have like multiples. Can't really stop that. If they really want to announce their wedding, they can. Problem here is like, I'm not exactly sure how many non-creature spells they run, right? So they probably play wedding announcements, uh, some amount of Infernal Grasps. Sarah Parrot. Wow, that is a good one to have. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to kill that card right now. Let's get in for some Dimaggio. Pass. I could see them totally playing Invoke Despair, but maybe not with this mana base, so... Fully into seeing that, I probably could have just played Tenacious Underdog as a blocker. Yeah, I mean, they have the answer. You got it. Um, let's see, what do they do? They must have some form of removal, right? Oh, a Kaido. That's so good right now. Oh my god. Uh, I guess we play Tenacious Corndog as a blocker. Unfortunately, my Obscura Interceptor right now is a bit clunky because we've been on the backpedal the whole time. I hope that, I'm trying to hope that they attack. Oh, okay, cool. Um, sure. It's fine. Let's just get rid of Kaido now. I sacked the corn dog. You got it. So I'm down to three. I'm kind of hoping this, like at this point now, Lily is just going to. Lily's fine. It's fine. Like there's no reason for me to swing out and, you know, like lose a threat here. So, or not lose a threat or lose the game. Oh, that's really good here. Okay. Actually, I realized I could have just bounced that. Made him, but they, it would have made him play it again, which is like all the same, right? Okay. Let's block here, gain four, right? Check. They swung with two, so I can just go ahead and blow this up. Let's get in there, kill the Lily. Gaining me four life back. Play 
grandpa. Grandpa makes it so that I, I don't actually really care all that much about what their counter spells do. I also think I'm going to just let Tenacious Underdog connect. Because I'm currently winning this race if they don't do something about this. That's still fine. I'll block here. I'll block there. Putting me at 5 so then I can go ahead, draw a card. Hopefully they don't hit anything too good here. Alright, sweet. Uh, I'm going to take some damage. This is going to hurt a lot. Let's hope I draw a card here that doesn't do nothing. They have enough mana to where they can just go ahead and play both Tenacious Underdogs. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Okay. That was a really good draw for them as that was an answer plus a threat I actually have to deal with. They're at three. Okay, so they're down to three. Do they have removal? I guess they could draw removal. You got it. I'm going to force them to have it because I have no way to win otherwise, so... All right, cool. And I'll take it. That's a W. How do I want to deal with this opponent? Like, I don't have any enough ways to, like, negate their nonsense. I guess some amount of Meatball Massacres are pretty good. Obscure Interceptor was actually pretty great there. It ended up, like, being the difference of what kept me alive. So, sure, I'll keep that. Let's just run like that. I can't keep this. I mean, I really like that Rafine's here. We know they play Lily. Okay, there you go. Uh, no, I'm going to actually... Pitch. I don't know. Duress is pretty good here. I can play that. Get rid of. Yeah, you know, I'll get rid. I'll keep Duress. Duress is pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll take one for this. This is exactly what I wanted to get rid of. So make disappears obviously pretty good, but you know, or only in the early game. Otherwise, it kind of doesn't really do much. Um, I can let them keep the Raven Man for now. I have an answer to the Raven Man. Uh, let's go ahead and just play Tenacious Corn Dog. Let's see how they handle this. So they play Wedding Announcement. Wow, that is a very good card to draw here, actually. Very nice. Well done. I think I still go ahead and just jam the Meatball Massacre for one. While shields are down. Get through for some damage. Alright. Uh, pass back to them. I mean, I guess they're, like, I could have probably swung first, because there's no way this opponent actually, like, blocks and then, you know. Or, like, no no way my opponent blocks. I probably could have gotten in three damage. Okay. Let's go ahead and just play Tenacious Corndog again. I can't block the, uh, the 1-1, one, one, but you know what? That's okay. They swung with both. That's perfect. There we go. Get that through. Uh, let's see how they play this next turn. They get to draw a card, so they're up card advantage. I have to swing both into Kaido here. So they'll draw two cards. I mean, that's obviously very good. I don't mind swinging one and one because I have Obscure Interceptor, so pass. That is actually problematic. I'm going to play this so that they're tapped out. Okay. Okay. Not great. Not great, because we do need to get rid of this this card, but like it doesn't look like that's going to happen today. So, what outs do I have? This is going to be a problem. This is for sure going to be a problem. Alright, does that have lifelink? No. I was for sure that, like, assuming that they were going to play, uh, what's the name of the card? The Trespasser. They just drew... So many cards. Oh wait, I need I need to kill the the three three. How do I beat this opponent now? They're sitting there in a pretty good spot. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the the Rafine's tower. Maybe I draw something. I guess now I don't really care if my stuff dies because if they die, I just whatever. I just get it back. Oh, that's okay. That's a problem. That is a huge problem. Okay, so Liza's becoming more prominent. I don't know why. I'm like running into them all the time now. I need to draw Infernal Grasp. I didn't take them all out. Or a Void Rend. Obviously, that's sarcasm, but. Nope, didn't draw it. Okay, so uh, that looks like it's about good game from here. We can't beat Eliza. Liza will then exile our stuff so nothing ever happens. However, now that I know they're playing bigger threats, let's go ahead and move some of our stuff around here oh wait i just went with 61 oops whatever play first 
Yeah, that seems good. I have like everything I could ask for in my lands. Uh, go ahead and play the Shipwreck Marsh. We are trying to just windmill slam this, this wedding announcement. All right, so that's four mana. Like, okay. Can I draw a better threat? Okay. Wedding announcement on my turn. I finally have a wedding announcement. Brighter side, I can just kill theirs. That feels good. Okay, that's fine. I'll pass. I'll pass. I think there's actually merit to me holding up mana here just because I have so much counter magic. Ooh, their own interceptor. That's saucy. I didn't play around that. I didn't think interceptors were common. Let's see how this goes. So I've got the bigger board now. I can block uh, the Obscura Interceptor. I have more removal. They know about all my removal. Auto Tapper messed me up by tapping down my my blue source so I can't hold up Disdainful Stroke. That's on me. That's my fault. I should be more uh, attentive to that. So what do they have at five? They could play Liza, but they know I have Void Rend. Interceptor's not a profitable trade because they'll swing, doesn't do anything. I have an answer to that. I have Tenacious Corndog as well, so this feels pretty good to have. If they have a Sweeper, that's okay. I don't think I block the Interceptor if I'm worried about Meat Hook. Sweet. Seems good. I have Mana. Okay. I mean, I can't counter that, so you got it. So we cleared their board, kept ours. We did lose out, uh, thanks to that. Unfortunately, since the fact that they, uh, bounced my Rafine there, that made it a little awkward. So Meatball Massacre was huge. Love that. Love everything about that. I mean, Void Rend just seems so good right now. It answers everything I could ask of it. The Raven Man, that's interesting. So do they have discard? Which card? Okay, sick. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna play it. Like, why wouldn't I, right? Like, let's get them to just use their mana, because you know they have it. Like, they have a counter spell. They showed they had a few make disappears. There you go. Maybe I could have actually just played Tenacious Underdog, because that would have been a, something that would have stayed even if they countered it. Probably a better line there. But then Tenacious Underdog means I don't get to do a double spell next turn. The nice thing is that I know I have Void Rend, so I can just do whatever. Do they have Wandering Emperor? That's pretty good. All right, let's pass off the turn here. Hold up some mana, because now we can Disdainful Stroke whatever they do. Cut down. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, we're burning through the removal. This feels good. I'm going to try to counter this. All right, it worked. We get in for four. That drains them. Let's play Kaido. I don't think they have counter magic, so that makes sense. They know I have Void Ren. Is the last card. I draw a card off Corn Dog that gets me another thing to discard in case they draw Lily. I feel like I'm in a pretty good spot here. I think this is about a lock here because they they play Liza, we blow Liza up. Meatball Massacre. Well, they do play one. Very good for them, but doesn't necessarily change anything here. And that's a lock. Nice. Keepable? I mean, I have interaction, right? Interaction's good. Interaction is, is important in the premier card game for ages 13 plus Magic the Gathering. Why wouldn't I try it, right? Okay. Um. Yeah, I'll just play this and pass. Uh. All right, what is this? Oh, oh it's a token deck. Good thing I have all these one-for-one -one removals. That seems good. Fear my single-spot removal spell, opponent, for I am about to show you what true pain looks like. Okay, I'm, I, okay, I don't know why. What, what is that? That's a fake card. That's not a real card. Everything gets completed now. Boats get completed. Like, what doesn't get completed anymore? You know what I mean? All right, I'm, I'm going to try to draw some Magic the Gathering cards. Again, from Premier Card Game Magic the Gathering for ages 13 plus. What does that do? Uh, but enters the battle with a player sacks a creature. Hey, that was kicked. I won't say you kicked my card well I guess I'm gonna plus 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. I think I'm getting rid of said card there. I'll pass. Because they're they're more inclined to try to swing into my, my Planeswalker, right? So that makes sense. This allows me to go ahead and just Wandering Waifu hit them or exile the stuff. I could regret this, but you know, they did nothing. Okay. Uh, I can't counter anything there, so I'm going to just go ahead and plus. Tenacious Corn Dog. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pass. They must have their own. There it is. There's the Wandering Waifu. You got it. You got it. Yeah, pop off. Pop off. Uh-huh. So I've got to do this whole thing. That's fine if they, they get rid of my... Uh, of my Kaido here, because I can bring Kaido back. Assuming they don't just play like the uh, Trespasser. Ooh, that's terrifying. Oh, they are all in. Are they just like Orzov vehicles or something weird like that? Interesting. Probably got to get rid of something. It's probably going to be Wander- not the Wandering Emperor. It's got to be Wedding Announcement. That stuff just gets them too much value, but so does that card. Like, their whole board is actually just value. And oddly, in a weird world, Wandering Emperor is the least powerful thing they've got. Okay, I'm taking three to the dome. Thank you. If it was kicked, each player sacrifices a creature. They're just going to keep doing this. All right. It's real. Well, I, I know that Weatherlight is going to take some years before it does anything. Oh, it's straight up vehicles. I guess I just pass, right? Or no, I could just return. Let's go ahead and return Kaido. I'm going to minus and then I'm going to pass to them. Let's see what they do on their turn. I need to find a farewell sooner or later, though. They're, this is going to become very problematic. Mech Hanger is nice, though. That's an interesting addition. It allows you to just straight up crew the Weatherlight. Right? So it is black, white vehicles. Cool. It's a lot of damage. All right, I'm at one. Have I died yet? Like this very much so is in their favor. Like I could have blocked, prevented four. I'd go up to five, but I'd still die all the same. Yeah, I didn't draw anything to do this turn. So GG's. Unlucky. Not good enough at Magic the Gathering. Yeah, that's way too late. That is way, 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 way too late. So yeah, GG's. All right, let's try this again next round. Now I have an idea what their deck does. So, uh, what don't we like? Vehicles get picked off by that card. This allows me to... This doesn't kill any vehicles. Cut down, that is. They've shown me tokens. They've shown me lots of things that I can negate. Uh, Meat Hook Masker, Path of Peril. These are all probably good cards. Duress actually doesn't do much for us. So let's get rid of that. Keep... See? Knew it. If I just call keep, opening hand would be a banger. My turn eventually. I Okay, I have to draw a white source sometime soon, so that'd be kind of cool if I did. But we have some time, right? We have like two turns. Duress me. Yup, that makes sense. I can negate a lot of things here. Sure, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and play Tenacious Corn Dog. Pass. Their own Tenacious Corn Dog. You got it. I'll pass. Go ahead. Wedding announcement. That's obviously good. Okay. Uh, let's see how this works. What do I draw? Let's go ahead and throw away negate and then something else. Let's see how they block here. Sure. Let's get rid of that creature. Makes them get rid of all their stuff so they only get one thing at a turn. I play a land that's not bad. I could have kept Negate for that, I guess, but I don't think I'm getting rid of Silver Scrutiny, and you know what? That's good enough. Opponent does not like that, and I love that, so sign me up. All right, I'll keep. We have a Sweeper. We have everything I could ask for. Sign me up. Oh, uh, I get to play Tenacious Corn Dog. Resolute Reinforcements. That card makes me think that I don't want to play Tenacious Corn Dog, right? Because then this way, if I'm just going to sweep the board next turn. Come on, give me something else to do. Although it is like... Um, guess I'll throw away the caves. That's fine. Let's blow up the board. All right, Wandering Emperor. That's obviously pretty good. They're doing all of this now. It's weird. 
I guess let's just play the role of the control deck. I mean, right now they have a lot of things they can jam on us that are pretty problematic, but I'm hoping we went eventually gas them out here. A beetle. It's fine. I'll just throw away Tenacious Underdog. And now I'm going to go ahead and play Wedding Announcement. Everybody, it's my wedding day. You wouldn't kill my stuff on my wedding day, right? You'd let me keep this opponent? That looks like someone that's going to touch my stuff. Yeah, okay. All right. Apparently the opponent doesn't celebrate my wedding. They really didn't like my announcement. Unlucky. I mean, I'm just going to play this because why wouldn't I, right? Like, like swing in. Give me a card. All right, cool. So it's not the Wandering Waifu. I draw a card. I drew another Tenacious corn dog. All right. It's a bit tenacious, if you would. I'll block. All right, now I'm going to pass. This gives me the opportunity to draw three fresh cards. Pretty important right now. That's fine. I'll just blow that up so that they don't get to do anything. What have we got over there, opponent? We're just going to do this pl uh, for four cards. All right, sweet. That felt really good to do. Duress, sure. So they have a surplus of things they can pick from. If they discard Kaido, that's probably not a good idea because I can bring it back two times over. All right, you'll love to see that. I like it. We're keeping because we have to choose. We have to keep these cards. I'm going to draw a land. I am going to draw a land. We have like 26 lands. That's a lot of lands. That's a lot of real estate. No way I don't hit a land, right? Right. Denik protects us, by the way, from like, like trespassers. So our corn dog doesn't get eaten. I guess in that sense, I also need to draw a land. Oh, I can't even cast it. Uh, I need to draw a black source. That'd be kind of cool. Or how about this? I'll even settle for a third land. As long as it's not one of my blue spells. What? Well, tapped is better than not having it. So we attack to gain life. All right, so that's four mana. Fable, that's kind of an annoying card. Sure. How do I want to go about this? I could just blow up... Let's blow up the Llanowar Elf. Then let's go ahead and play the Tenacious Corn Dog. Pass. So if cards in graveyards can't be target of spells or abilities, they can't just reanimate anything, right? So that's good, right? Because it requires them to like go invoke justice or Shealdred's thing. They have to target a creature in the graveyard. Soul of Wind Grace. That's obviously good. All right, got that out of here. Let's sing this, send this in. Sure, pass. So they have a lot of stuff in hand. Hold on, how does Wind Grace read? You may put a land card from my grave, so you're never targeting, huh? Unfortunate, big sad. I mean, I may as well just keep attacking, right? Now I'm gonna leave up Obscura Interceptor to, so I could pitch the uh, Tenacious Corn Dog. Let's see what they throw away. They're very much so a ramp deck though, or a, a reanimator deck of some sort. So I think being able to like eat, like stop their graveyard. Uh, I block, sure. Then we go and do the fun stuff. I'm gonna send a uh, Titan of Industry right back into your hand. Four, seven, nine, 12. I'm gonna just send in this damage. See how they feel about that. So they felt pretty good about that one. So they can make a ton of reflections of Kiki Jiki here. How do I beat this? They have gained, now they are very much so ahead, right? Like they don't actually ever have to attack. They could just keep doing this stuff over and over. So I need to draw a Void Rend. Actually, no, I, I, Void Ren doesn't cut it. I think that's GG's. I can't seem to get past that, right? That's just like, good game, I'm stuck. All right, let's try something though. So Fennec's gonna be good here. I'm keeping this. This is like at least a ton of interaction, which is what I lacked last game. So sure. I hope I draw a a third land, though. I need an untapped third land. I mean, I want to draw all the way up to, like, five mana, to be honest. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, so here I am. All right, that's, like, the opposite of a land. It requires lands. Come on, deck. 
And that's good game. We lost if this is like not a good, like if we don't draw land soon, we're dead. Like I can maybe get by if I sit around for like two turns most, but I cannot miss any more lands. So like I might be able to miss this upcoming land drop and that's it. All right, I am gonna have to take two for this. Gotta really expedite this card out so then it might draw me into another land, which is obviously nice. All right, so they're milling stuff into their yard. There's the Titan of Industry, what you never wanna see. All right, let's get in for two. I'm going to need to sweep the board at some point, so I may as well just hold on to my cards now. That's fine. Like, maybe they bring... I don't know. They have a reanimation spell. If they do, I can counter that. The problem with how good this Soul of Windgrace is right now is that it doesn't matter. It already did what it wanted to do with its ETB effect. Okay. So they're up to 20 again. Sure. I might need the meat hook to gain life back. I think I need to hang back and just hold up the ability to disdainful stroke something. Like, they might just fairly cast things over here. Okay, so we countered their spell normally. Like, that's good. They have another one of these mill things, so it's going to get pretty bad pretty soon here. Let's shrink the board a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna counter Cruelty of Gix, obviously, because I can't let them do whatever it is they're trying to do over there. Bar Briar Bridge Trickster, or Tracker. That's a pretty new one. Okay, I'm gonna attack now. That has Vigilance, if I recall. All right, pass. I guess I have to exile the spirit. The spirit's pretty massive. Yeah, I'll just get rid of something. Take the four here. Essentially take the two. I hope they didn't draw anything too good. So that's three, six. So I got to find something before they find Titan of Industry. That's really good. Yeah, okay. That is, there is such a thing as being a uh, wandering emperor flooded. Okay. Let's see what they discard because this is going to matter a lot, right? Or maybe I should have actually blown this up. They like their cards anyways, so sure. Uh, how do I want to go about this? I could block... So they lose two. Three, five, six, that's fine. It's actually really good here. Four, so that's four, three. I don't have any legendary. Oh, I do have th legendary creatures. This costs three and three. So this would cost three, and then Wandering Emperor would cost four to play back, so I'm good. Otherwise. I just need them to not find Titan of Industry. Okay. They're down to three. They're dead in the air if they don't have anything to do. Okay, so I gain a life. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. You got it. Oh, I, I won this one. All right. So they do have Planeswalker. So Obscure Charm is back on the menu of things that I want to play. Let's try this. This looks better. Uh, this actually isn't bad. I'm able to get something on the ground early. Let's play the Atacar Waste. Then we have to play Takanuma. It's actually a pretty decent hand. And now that I have a third land, this is way better than I thought it'd be. Brutal Cathar gets better and better when they play tons of things like, you know, that generate tokens, because they're not going to get it back even if they kill my stuff, so... 
kind of love that for us, actually. All right, let's see what happens now. What do you got on your three? Perfect, so I can eat a token. And regardless of what happens here, I just eat the token, say goodbye to it. You don't get it back. So they pitch, like, Titan of Industry, but I still need to draw. Because they could reanimate here pretty early. Oh, it's Squee. The Squeegee. All right. Oh, that's going to die right now. If, if I can help it, at least. Uh, let's get in for DiMaggio. So I'm hoping they don't have anything that's going to go too wild here on us. I hope they cast a big non-creature spell. I'll counter that. This mitigates the number of things that they can just, like, filter through their deck for. Perfect. All right, so I can get three cards this turn. Jace's Ingenuity is actually going to be very much so welcomed. Even if they play Titan of Industry, they can't immediately draw, like, clone it, right? So that's the big deal here. Okay. Seems good. Okay. So they're milling and chilling. Does this attack and creates a 1 1 Regal that's tapped and attacking? I mean, yeah, I'm just gonna play that. I think they play two spells, because they play two sagas, that'll flip this. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of the token here. Cool. Oh, uh, that's fine. Oh, I could have had lethal. Oops, I messed that up. I didn't think they'd actually not block at all. I super duper messed that up. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's unfortunate. I super duper messed that up. So I could potentially just scrutiny for like zero, but that just doesn't seem like the winning line. Hmm. Yeah, I need to draw the cards. So I'm going to have to actually sacrifice the token. Let's squeeze through. Draw three. Either A, I find an answer to the reflections or I... Okay, that's actually really good here. Okay. Oh my God, that's perfect. So let me see. I have, they have three creatures. I can bounce one, bounce the other. All right, let's go. Wow, they're... Okay, we take it. Easy. Oh, uh, yeah, that seems solid. We start pretty, like, actually with a really good hand here. So, sure. We have the mana that we need. A little painful, but, you know, hopefully that doesn't cost us the game here. Okay, so we have exactly what we want in uh, the Meat Hook Massacre so far. All right, that's painful, but you know what? Best part is that, so far, none of these vampires efficiently deal with Rafine, right? So I get to block. I have a 1-4 that's got ward, so it makes them spend more mana to do things. This is exactly what I want to see. We also have the, uh, the whatever, the knocking, the blowout, knockout, or whatever, uh, post-board. Ooh, the Devastator. Okay. Uh, let's throw away Tenacious Corndog. At this point, I think think we about have it locked up here because we're gonna be able to just pretty much do whatever we want right we have a two five that's like gonna require them to spend like two spells which is six at least you know gonna have to pay for the ward so that like turns so many things into not that great of a uh mm, fine yeah i'm still gonna swing in here yeah i'm just gonna keep all my cards here this is looking pretty good right so pass Let's see what I draw. Okay. Uh, send the Reckless Stormseeker back. Sure. That's obviously good. But we have two ways to remove their stuff right now, right? So I kind of like that. However, I do want to hang back and block. Okay. So they're playing the Stormseeker again. Let's gain a life back. So that's going to net me another life. Sick. Oh, wow. I, I meant to block. Oops. All right. Now I'm going to block. I didn't mean to not block. I was going to block anyways last turn. Because if they had a burn spell, that's fine. I could just bring it back. And let's see. So I want to draw three. And that is perfect. Uh, I don't need the land. 
Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and play Tenacious Corndog on its own pass. Next turn, we'll start actually doing even more damage, and I love that for us. So what is that, plus five mana if they decided to play play with fire? May as well gain some life then. All right, and that looks like it's enough to get him out of here. I love to see that. Yeah, okay, if it's a red creature, I love that. If it's, yeah, that's amazing, that's amazing, that's amazing. Uh, sure. Even, even Bru Brutal Cathar has its plays and value here. Malevolent Hermit doesn't do anything. Kaido probably gonna die pretty easily. Void Ren, yeah, for except for their Planeswalkers. Scare Interceptor is nice just because of the uh, lifelink. So, wedding announcement a bit slow, a little bit slow. Um, okay, so looking at everything, we have room for one more card. I mean, more removal never hurt, right? Brutal Cathar seems a bit fragile because it does get blown up with a simple shock. So that's my concern with that card. I'll keep. This looks really good. Just give me lands, deck. That's all I need. Okay, that's like a land as in that it requires lands to cast it. So that feels terrible. However, let's see what happens. Okay, another thing that requires lands. I like that. That's what we call BM. Thank you, game. They play a Planeswalker. I got to counter that. Yeah, we'll take four this turn. So we're down to 14. Nice and comfortably, of course. Oh, thank the Lord. I'm going to pass. I'm going to hold up make disappear here. On the draw, I have to play way more defensive. Counter target spell. Blow up the bloodthirsty adversary. I can't cast that. I just realized that. So I'm going to go ahead and play wedding announcement. Gives me a blocker at the very least, so sure. Oh, that's a good card. Oh, it gets Trample. That's a great card. Uh, then no point in blocking. I'm down to nine. If they play another spell, that's gonna flip, so that's what I want. Falcon Wrath, Pit Fighter. Sure. Please don't tap like that, deck. Why would you tap the land that I needed the least, like needed the most to represent something? Oh, that's painful. On the brighter side... Okay, let's not, like, lose me that much life, but at the same time, I guess let's get a little wild, you know? So I need to discard two things that are actually useful. Uh, sure, let's pump this. Okay, so I have a 2-5. I'm comfortably at 5. What's the worst that could happen? Like, play with fire? Please don't have it. Oh, not play with fire. Light up the night. That's what I meant. Okay, so they are relying on light up the night a lot, right? That's kind of an annoying card. I love it. This hand's actually, like, playable. All I need is a black source, and I can actually remove something. Um, The two-drop slot, how problematic is it? Probably not, because I have a ton of, like, removal. I more so care about countering what their three-drop slot is. Okay. Obscure Charm is also like a naturally just another good counter spell in this matchup. Blue, white, black. To help me find a threat, but that's removal. I will never say no to removal. So yeah, pass. I don't want to lose life, so I'm just not going to... Um, That's fine. Sure. One of them is dying. You got it. Actually, should have probably done the uh, Thai Ganjo here. Pass. If they hit the land here, it's going to feel pretty bad. No blocks on this one. They'll, they'll get a free swing in because I do believe that they could have a shock this early in the game, considering how many cards are in hand. This is perfect. I actually got a land, allowing me to go ahead and play Iganjo blowing up something here, and then holding up make disappear. Sure. I'll just counter this. Uh, sure, let's throw away an Infernal Grasp. This feels actually kind of absurd right now. Sure, that's great. Alright, let's gain some life back. I'm gonna throw away a land here, I don't really need that one. So, sure, they'll take three. We're currently winning this race. I need to save this for a Chandra. Alright, so I'm taking one. Uh, get in for three. They're currently down some life, so... 
We're winning this race? That's really good here. So let me stop that from happening. I was going to take three at least, so this... It's the same. Perfect. I think we have the game. This is about a lock here. We've got exactly what we need. We've got a life-linking threat in Denik. That's right. Format All-Star Denik. That's what I thought. It was the Denik. It was the Denik that won. We kind of proved that in the last matchup that Mono Red still needs a little bit of help. Meat Hook Massacre is still a powerful magic card. And most importantly, we've learned that Esper Midrange still has it. Void Ren still proving to be a very solid removal spell and probably one of the biggest reasons to be playing a three-color deck like Esper. Uh, just being able to answer anything, making it uncounterable, ignoring Ward, ignoring counter spells. Just an all-around very, very strong card. Silver Scrutiny, just a solid one-of in the deck just to get more card advantage in. It felt like we were able to stay ahead on cards for a good amount of the game. Uh, powerful deck all the way through. Pretty smooth climb, and we hit Mythic in the video. So thanks for watching the video, and as always, I appreciate y'all supporting the content. I'll see you at the next one.